Hello friends, Misha here. Welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing GameCube. Oh my god, I see weeds. I'm gonna have to like, just make sure that I play on my own one day a week to just tend to the weeds all around town because only recording episodes one day a week is going to lead to some weed overgrowth here in the lovely woodsy town of Eboshi. So today, today we are still going to be working for Tom Nook. Uh, we still have some more stuff to do for him. We just mailed a letter to Bob last last episode, at the very end of last episode, so we've done that for Nook. Now we can go back and tell him tell him, show him all the all the things we've done for him. Okay, we have plenty of things in our pockets right now uh, to sell. That's another thing I want to try to do today is actually make some money, but we might have to wait until we're actually at our end of our our job with Tom Nook in order, in order to do that. Might have to get through all of our days, and I can't believe you guys. So you guys have told me a few things. First of all, I can't believe there was only one hairstyle in this Animal Crossing game. That is just baffling to me. There are multiple faces, but just the one hairstyle. It's so funny. And then Admiral's house is only purple because he's on the southern half of the map. That's the only, only reason that his house is purple. I, w I was really confused as to why there was only one purple house. That's because, oh! We have a new villager that is living on a cliff, apparently. Mitzi. Mitzi has moved in and she's living on a cliff. Well, we will have to go greet her very, very soon after we go go talk to Tom Nook here. What's up, everybody? Hi, hello. Oh, here's a little soccer ball. Oh, why? Oh, she's playing soccer. Oh my goodness. I, I want to be able to see her better. Oh, there you go. You're doing so good, honey. You're doing so good. <laughs> Was your name Misha? Are you kidding? You've met me like three times. No, I haven't changed a bit because I, I have only played this game two times since we've met. <laughs> Let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, baby? Isn't it a drag that you can't just have something when you want it, that you actually have to go and buy it? Ick. It's so very pedestrian, but there are ways to make money. You won't get my ideas, though. Get your own. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. What is wrong with me? You're new here, so I guess I should help you out a bit. You can sell most anything that you find here in Eboshi to Tom Nook. He's got a paw and everything. Just take stuff to him and see what it'll pay. That's how I make money, baby. Thank you, Cashmere. You are so, so generous with those tips. Okay, let's pick all these weeds and go go tell Tom Nook what a good job we've done for him and see what other tasks he has for us. Oh my god, there's a cabin chair back there. We're playing on the per- I need- okay, new goal. New goal for today. Make enough money to buy that cabin chair. Also, that umbrella, that uh, pink flower umbrella looks super cute, but I need- I need the cabin chair. That is, that is a requirement. So you're back again today. Very good, yes. Very reliable. Let's get to work. Did you send the letter? Hmm? Good job. It took you longer than I'd have liked, so... I have to dock you a bit. How does 130 bells sound? But I'm glad you got it after all. I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. Okay, so... I got- I mailed the letter very quickly. I mailed the letter on the same day that he told me to. I just didn't go back to him and tell him that I had mailed the letter until, like, almost a week later. So that's why he's docking me the bells, I guess, is because I didn't come back and, and tell him that I did it. But, oh well, whatever. Oh, he's a bit behind, hasn't delivered- prepared the next package he has. There'll be a ways for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little bit better working for them than you can for me, but not much better, yes? Just be sure to come back here after a bit, hmm? Well, can I sell things to you? Uh-oh, you've gotten a little ahead of me. I still haven't gotten it ready. Say, maybe you can go see- No. Oh my goodness. So I can't- I can't sell anything to him, which means I can't make any money. Can I try to interact with this? No, that's for my customers. I can't sell it to someone who works in the shop. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So we are going to have to go help out some villagers 
in a very speedy type of fashion. We also go, need to go introduce ourselves to Mitzi, so we will do that. Let me go ahead and put some stuff on the ground just to free up some space in our pockets. I'll drop these couple of cherries. No, I want to... <laughs> I would like to drop it. I would like to drop it, please. Thank you. And then, what is this? Low Lantern and Lily Pad Table. I could go put both of those in, in our house, actually. So... What's the best route here? Yeah, let's uh, go across the bridge, go by home. We'll go by our house and put those couple pieces of furniture down. Okay, come on. Go introduce ourselves to our new neighbor, Mitzi. Hopefully she will give us a, a task of some sort to do for her. And that will satisfy Tom Nook. And he will give us some more work to do so we can make enough money. We can actually start selling him things. Actually start making money. I have no idea. Oh my god, our first cockroach. <sighs> he dead though. He gone. He dead. No, no, no more problems from that cockroach. That's so funny. We got our first cockroach. Um, sure. Put the lily pad table right here. Aw, so cute. So cute. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to decorate our house some more. And yes, we'll put the low lantern in here as well. Oh, it's this type of lantern. Oh, this would look really cool if I had like one on this side and then another low lantern over here. I can't wait to decorate our house some more. But like I said, we just gotta, gotta get through working for Nook first. So now it is time to introduce ourselves to Mitzi. I'm pretty sure we haven't met Mitzi, or maybe I'm going crazy, but I do not remember a house being over here. Come on. Pick the, pick the, pick the weed. Hope I'm going the right way. It is a little confusing trying to get around this. Oh, hi! Uh, oh, hello! My name is Mitzi. How are you? So, are you new in town? How splendid. Would you, uh, would you like to be friends with me? Really? Great! Terrific! I'm so glad I got up the courage to ask. That could have gone badly. Misha. Okay, I think I can remember that. Aw, she's so cute. I love the little shirt she's wearing. I didn't want to go too far down. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get something to do from her. No, I did not want to read her sign. I just wanted to talk to her again. Good afternoon, Mew. So tell me, Misha, what did you want, Mew? Okay, I can just tell her to give give me work. Yeah, since you're here, I guess I'll ask a small favor of you. It's not a big deal. Teddy was just over visiting, but we went off and absentmindedly left his picture book behind. So anyway, Misha, what I'd like you to do is return this picture book for me. Oh, er, Mew. <laughs> I'm seeing words that aren't even there. Of course I will return Teddy's picture book. I love you. I love Teddy. I want to do anything in the world for both of you, but first I want to enter your house. That's another tip someone couple people told me, actually, is that you can go inside a villager's house as long as they're just in the same acre as their house. They don't even have to be inside it. You can just go in and see their interior without them being in there, which I think is so, so interesting. I don't know if you can do that in another Animal Crossing game. So this is Mitzi's little house. Got some gyroids, some plants. Really super cute. All right, so let's go deliver this to Teddy. We're, we're a woman on a mission, a working woman, a businesswoman, if you will. And Teddy's house is, well, oh, I'm gonna have to look at the map. Oh, it's literally, literally, literally just right here. Through the weeds, we have to travel to get to Teddy's house. Um, hello, is it right here? Nope, these are our houses. <laughs> okay, it's down here, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yes, here, oh, and he is right in front of his house, just where we need him to be. Hi, buddy. What's up in the big wide world, Groof? Hey, now that I got a good look at you, you're Misha. Where have you been, Groof? Party? Whatever. Or whatever it was, I'm glad you're good. So what can I do for you, Misha? I have a very special delivery. The picture book that you absentmindedly left at Mitzi's house. Jumpin' Jackrabbits! That's my picture book, isn't it? What in the world is going on? So I just left it over at Mitzi's place, did I? Oops. Well, thanks, Misha. 
Aww. That little noise, I think, meant that our friend th meant that our friendship level went up a little bit. Um, he's going to give me an outfit the other day that he just bought in return. Looks like hard work does you good. I'll have to put you to work again soon. Uh, so now I guess we should go back to Mitzi and tell her that the the task the task is complete. We have delivered Teddy's book for her. I wonder if that will satisfy Tom Nook, or I wonder if we have to get work from more villagers. We will, uh, we will go see. Oh, there was a floating present. We don't have a slingshot or anything yet, though, so we can't even get it. So, you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right, Mew? Um, I could just tell her I need work again, yeah. As a matter of fact, I was hoping to get you to deliver this thing for me. Just the other day, Teddy stopped by. I must have forgotten this camera. Oh my god. How often are Mitzi and Teddy hanging out? He's forgetting all of his things at her house. I guess I will take Teddy's camera back to him, yeah? Leave it to me. So this is different from New Leaf, because in New Leaf you have to go back to the person or the villager that gave you the task and tell them that it's done and they'll give you a reward, but in this one you just have to, to do the thing. And after you do the thing, the thing is done. And then there are no more things to do. How, how about that? All right, Teddy, I got another thing that you left at your girlfriend's house. Yep, your camera. I don't know what they're getting up to with picture books and cameras, but I hope I hope they're having a good wholesome time. Mitzi asked you to drop it off, huh? I was gonna go pick it up myself, Groove. I really appreciate you bringing it by, though. Bum, 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 bum. This is my favorite outfit, but you can have it. I bet it'll look good on you, too. T so Teddy has just given us an outfit that he just bought, plus his favorite outfit. Dude, you fully helped me out. Hope I can count on you in the future, Groove. So let's see what Teddy has given us. We, d we didn't even check. Uh, so he has given us the star shirt and the ribbon shirt, because I think we already had the blossom shirt. Is that, is that right? Oh no, I don't think we've seen this one. We've definitely seen the gelato shirt. So maybe he gave us the blossom shirt. Yeah, okay, so we have seen the star, star shirt. So Teddy gave us the blossom shirt and the ribbon shirt. The blossom shirt was one uh, that he bought recently, and apparently the ribbon shirt is his favorite outfit ever. Not a, not a fan of Teddy's, uh, Teddy's taste, to be quite honest with you. Oh no, I didn't mean to drop- I just dropped Teddy's present that he gave us right in- right in front of him. Right- right in front of him. I'm so... Sorry! Okay, I do want to wear some cuter outfits eventually, but we gotta put our work uniform back on for right now. So now that we've delivered both of those things to Teddy, that's two- two jobs that we've done for villagers. Maybe Tom Nook has his package ready at this point. Let's go, let's go see. God, I can't wait to start fishing and catching bugs. If there's like too many more jobs that Nook needs us to do, then I might do those just off, off camera, off episode on my own. Are these two still, play, still playing soccer back here? Oh no, the soccer ball's all the way up there. They are not, no longer playing soccer. They're just running around in the grass together. Two gals being pals. All right, Nook, what's up? Were you able to help anybody out? Many animals need things, huh? Did you get anything good in return? The critters in town are all fairly generous, so your work never goes unrewarded. That's quite nice, yes? Next, I need you to deliver a nice carpet for me. Okay, good, good. He's gi giving us a new task. Yeah, no dilly-dally. I will not dilly-dally. Oh my god, are these the only villagers we're going to talk to today? Mitzi and Teddy? Just because I'm not watching you doesn't mean you can stop and chit-chat with folks you meet along the way. <laughs> then again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you. Just try not to gab too much. Tell me when you're done. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't that be just awful? I know that there are some jobs, like people that d drive delivery trucks. Um, I guess that would be the main thing. Like people that have to drive or, or go a lot of different places for their jobs. Um, that their car or their phone will have GPS on that their employers can watch to see like how long they spend at, like if you spend a really long time at a restaurant, took an extra long lunch break, or, you know, just went to a random, random 
residential area for too long. They would see you like went to a friend's house or something. And like I get that when you're in a job like that, that you need to be held accountable and you can't just dilly dally and not do your job. But it's also very strange. It would be very strange knowing that you're being tracked with with GPS by your employer. I would not like that at all. <laughs> Especially if there's like a camera on you. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, like while you're working, you should be working and most empl like traditional employers would have a way to supervise you. But when you're out and about in the world, you don't really have a way of being supervised. So cameras and GPSs are, I guess, a way to do that. It just feels, feels so strange. All right, we have a delivery. It's some sort of carpet. Some sort of carpet for Mitzi. I don't know what floor is it. Is she gonna tell us? Did you get lost on the way here? I literally came directly here. I have been looking forward to getting this carpet all week. After all, carpeting and wallpaper are both very important when it comes to bringing a room together. You should try out lots of different floor styles too. You can have my old rug if you like. Oh, what's this gonna be? I hope it's nice. It'll blow your mind how many different kinds of wallpaper and carpeting there are. No kidding. Kia, so look carefully through them all and find your style that best matches your house, I think is what it says. There's some patterns that are really hard to come by, too. Your best bet is to check the store every day. Old Tom puts new products daily. Wait, why am I telling you this? You work for him. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I do work for him, and this is all brand new information. Nook has told me absolutely nothing other than go here, do this. I shouldn't take up your time while you're on the clock. Bye. Oh, Mitzi's so sweet. Sorry about that jump cut, uh, but we are back here at our house and I'm going to go see uh, what rug, what carpet Mitzi has has given us. It is the tartan, tartan, tartan rug, which if I remember is one of my favorites. Yes. This is one of my favorite floors in the game. We are so lucky that we got this. Now all I need is like the ivy wallpaper. I want. I love the brick um, wallpaper that has the ivy growing on it. I think it's just called the ivy wall or ivy wallpaper. I need that. I need the cabin chair. I need that cabin chair so bad. You have no idea how bad I want that cabin chair that's sitting in Tom Nook's house. Or Tom Nook's house, Tom Nook's store. Oh, but we must. We must be patient. We must persevere. We must continue working for this business tycoon raccoon. Business tycoon raccoon. Say that five times fast. Business tycoon raccoon. 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 <laughs> Okay, I said it five times fast. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So, you're back again today. Very good, yes, very reliable. Let's get, what, you just, you said that already. Just, hello? I did the thing. Welcome back, dear employee. Very good, yes, it looks like you're finally getting the hang of things around here. The way you work, I'd be happy to have you working here full time. Wouldn't that be a treat? What? No. I can see you're putting a, lot of, putting a lot of effort into your work, so this time I'll give you 580 bells. Next, I need you to deliver an ax to Bob. Oh my god, what? Does Bob need an axe for? I see that light in your eyes. Now the stuff you deliver is wrapped, so you couldn't use it, even if you wanted to. So don't get any ideas. If you want to cut down any trees, you'll have to get your own axe, yes? Very good. Give it your best shot, and tell me when you're done. Alright, here we go. Taking an axe to Bob. Maybe he just really, really wants uh, the fruit on the fruit trees and needs to just cut down the entire tree to do that. I can't think of what purpose an axe would serve a lazy, hungry boy such as Bob. Where is Bob's house? Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Just down one and over one. And picking some, picking some weeds on the way. Oh, someone also told me that a dragonfly would sit on your hat if you idled for a minute um, near a dragonfly. So let's see if... Uh, if it'll land on our hat. Nope, it's going off into another acre. Okay, we don't have we don't have time to wait on that dragonfly. Oh my god, I want to catch that beetle. Guys, I want to catch that beetle so badly. And here's our baby Bob. You know, you were about one day away from completely disappearing from my memory. Oh my god, everybody's been <laughs> so dramatic. It's only been a few days. My memory's awful, so you'd better be careful to drop by every now and then. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is not an animal that needs an axe, but whatever. It's my job that Tom Nook gave me.
thanks a bundle. Sorry I can't tip you. My wallet's in my other, uh, frock. <laughs> to casually change the subject, did you send me this letter? <gasps> yes, I did. <laughs> to Bob, get your lazy butt to Nux for a dope sale. That's what I figured. It was super mellow of you. Getting any kind of letter is way cool. Oh my god, I love... Bob, he is my favorite. I've misplaced my fair share of stuff over the years, but I hang on to every letter I get. Oh god. Don't hold on to that for too long. Don't show anybody else. Not only that, but I show them off to my friends. Oh no! They're easily impressed. I just said not to show it to anybody. Bob, are you even listening to me? I may move out of good old Eboshi someday, and I'll bring my letters with me. Heck, I might even show them to my new pals after I move. Nothing breaks the ice like a letter. Keep that in mind when you're writing me. I just gotta share with others. And seriously, I don't want to show off creepy letters. I don't need that kind of rep, you know? Anyway, enough jabbing. Write me again soon. <laughs> yeah, I remember in... I can't remember if I had this experience in Wild World, but I definitely have a new leaf where I've had villagers move in from other people's towns. And they have, uh... Wait, where are we going? Yeah, where they have uh, shown me letters that their previous, previous friends in their previous town sent them. I think they were, for the most part, pretty, pretty wholesome and uh, not weird or anything. Just fun and silly little letters, but it was always, always interesting to read those letters that they showed off. Welcome back. Nice work. Very good, yes. Now let's see. That chore earned you a solid 230 bells. What to do? Your next job will be... Ah, oh, now I remember. You've seen the bulletin board in front of your house, haven't you? I want you to write an ad for my shop on that bulletin board. You get foot traffic around there, yes? You can write whatever catchy slogan you like. Just make sure it sounds exciting, hmm? And don't write anything that might embarrass me. Once you write something on it, you can never erase it. Well, off you go, hmm? And let me know when you're all done. Always, Nook. I'll always report back to you. Man, this, this, this raccoon's really working us to the bone. Not giving us, not giving us any rest. No quarter. What are we going to write on the bulletin board? Probably something similar to uh, the letter that we sent to Bob, because I have very little creativity when it comes to writing these things. Especially on the spot. If somebody tells me to come up with something clever, quickly, I absolutely cannot do it. Absolutely cannot. Fishing season is here. Join us every Sunday in June for our fishing tourneys. Can you catch a prize-winning fish? Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so excited to do some fishing tournaments. Oh, every Sunday, I'll have to record um, an episode on, on a Sunday soon. And I also need to start recording episodes uh, at different times of the day. This is just the time that I normally am recording Animal Crossing, um, but I need to record some like earlier in the day, like really, really early in the morning and at nighttime. I'll try to record some at nighttime eventually too, just to mix things up a little bit. But the majority of my episodes are probably going to be just in the middle of the day, uh, but I will try to mix it up for you all. Okay, I'm going to jump cut to after I have written this message because it's going to take me a minute to come up with it, I'm sure. Come support local business at Nooks, you gorgeous animals. Is this okay? Heck yes, it is. That is the best advertisement for a store I've ever seen in my entire life. I also took a break to talk to my father on the phone. Oh my god, I cannot navigate my way around this map all, at all. There is a bridge literally like two feet from my house and I go in the completely wrong direction. <laughs> now my dad called. We have some family coming in tomorrow so I will be going to going to lunch at my parents' house to, to hang out with them. It'd be nice. It's a couple of my, my aunts that I haven't seen in quite some time. One of them lives in California and one of them lives in, in Virginia and they're all kind of, they're, they're both meeting up and taking a little road trip so I get to get to see them. It'll be so nice. Yes, I did put a buzz generating ad up there. Something animals will talk about all over the water cooler. You know it. I called them gorgeous. That's the way to get people in is flattery. That means, oh my god, we're all done. All the work I hadn't gotten around to is now all done. How wonderful for me. <coughs> 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 I'm 
I'm just choking on air, don't mind me. I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Hmm? The rest of your mortgage? Oh, of course. You still have to pay all of it off. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records here. Hmm? So far you've worked off 1,400 bells. So you have 17,400 bells left to pay. Not exactly a sum to sneeze at. Hmm? Since there's no more work for you here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Um... I can run errands for villagers, selling things you no longer need, generate some cash flow. If you've got stuff to sell, just come talk to me, yes? I'll give you a very fair price for anything you've got. Oh, and when you want to make a mortgage payment, uh, do it at the post office for me. Tax purposes, you know. Hmm? If you can pay off about 1,000 bills a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send for the raccoon goons. Wait, what? What raccoon goons? are we going to run into if we don't pay off a thousand bells a week? Oh, just a joke. Once you pay it all off, we can talk about remodeling the place for you. Okay, so we don't actually have a payment schedule to keep to. Um, that would be so funny if he sent, like, Timmy and Tommy after us if we weren't, weren't paying off our mortgage in a timely fashion. That's funny. I do want to focus on making, making money and paying off my house pretty soon. Oh! Yes! I'm finally done working! I'm free! I'm free! And now we are free to sell Tom Nook things! Let me pick up this cherry and go back in here. We're gonna sell him seashells and fruit and clothes we don't want. Oh my god, we can wear things other than, uh, other than our work uniform now. Let's throw on... No, I did not like the star shirt. Maybe we'll throw on the blossom shirt for now. I can't remember what the gelato one was, though. Oh, no, I don't like this one. This one was the one that we started out with. Um, we will match our favorite lazy boy Bob and wear, wear the Blossom outfit for now. And when we get something else that we like better, we'll, we'll throw that on. All right, Nook, give me money. Take my things. Yes, I would like to sell. We are going to get that cabin chair one way or another. I'm awfully sorry, but I can't buy that. Oh my god. If you don't need it, I can take it off your hands for free. It's no trouble. Shall I take it? Yeah. Mm, well, mm, let's hold on to our work uniform. You know, for like, nostalgia purposes. It's also not the most hideous looking outfit. Um, okay, so how... I feel like somebody told me that I could select multiple things to sell to Nook at once. I can't remember how, though. Okay, well, at least I can just go back into the menu. Okay, 100 bells for a cherry. I'll take that. I'm just gonna fast forward through selling all this stuff. We have now sold everything in our pockets, mom except for the work uniform. So, moment of truth. Let's see if we have enough money to buy this cabin chair. No, we're still a few hundred bells away. Okay, okay, but that's okay. We can make that. We just need to go get some more cherries from uh, from some trees around town. Let's see what wallpaper and flooring we have over here. Just to, just to check. A modern wall. Oh, okay. I thought I accidentally bought it. No, I, 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 I would not like to buy this. No, thank you. Never mind. What about the floor? That's blue flooring, very nice. I would like to see it. Okay, no, do not like this flooring. But I do need to be a little bit better about maybe playing on days that I'm not recording, just coming in to see what Nook has for sale. I definitely want to buy the shovel. I have to buy all of the, all the tools, so that's a given that I need to go ahead and buy that. So for the next little bit, I'm just gonna go around and collect cherries uh, from from our trees around town. Collect cherries, maybe I'll go get some more seashells, and we'll come back to Nook and sell some more stuff. So I will I will meet you guys back after I do all that. And with that, we have made enough money to buy the cabin chair. I just got some cherries, I got mostly cherries, and then like four uh, shells from from the seashore and sold them to our boy Nook, and we can now buy our first piece 
of furniture for 2,208 bells. This is the first piece of furniture we're buying. We've gotten a couple of presents. A couple pieces of furniture as presents. Oh, please take this raffle ticket as a gift. No charge. The next raffle date is May 31st. I'll bet you can't wait. Oh my god, I did not know that there was such a thing as a raffle. Uh, let's see how much this umbrella is while we're here. I think it's su super cute. The Lotus Parasol's 480 bells. It's really cute. I feel like we have to get it. It matches our outfit, first of all. It's a lot of pink for me, but... It's really stinking cute. Okay, we got two raffle entries now since we've bought two things from next store. Did not know the raffle was a thing. God, I'm just, I'm learning so many things. Learning so many things. Doing, uh, doing this playthrough. It's so exciting. If you guys don't know, um, I feel like I need to mention this, like, every time that I play. Uh, this is my first time playing through Animal Crossing GameCube. I played it a teensy bit on a friend's copy whenever I was in middle school, but I have not played this game since middle school. And even then, like I said, I did not have my own town. Oh no! Why is our angel upset? Come here, Kashmir. Why are you- why are you sads? Why do you have the sads? Sigh. What did I ever do to deserve such a fate? Oh my goodness! She is so sad. I'm so sorry. Let's see what's buried in front of- wait, whose house is this? Is this Lee's? This is Lee's house. Let's see- whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I just want to see what's buried right here. Move out of the way, Kashmir. I don't want to hit you with a shovel on accident. Oh my god. Come on. There it is. Oh, our first fossil! Check it out! I dug up a fossil! Our first ever, fo ever fossil, guys. Feels good. Feels good. Okay, so the last thing we are going to do today is going to be to go back to our house and put that cabin chair in there. Nope, not this way. We gotta go down here to go across the bridge. Uh, and next episode, we will use our handy dandy shovel some more. We'll dig up some of the more dig spots around town, hopefully find some more fossils and take those to be assessed. Um, I Hopefully we will... I'm gonna try to play a couple of days off episode just to check in on Nook's store, uh, sell some cherries and some seashells, and just make us a little bit of money to get the fishing rod and the bug net, just the bare necessities if you will. Uh, might do just a little bit of that off camera, but don't worry. I, w I won't do too much that you guys can't see, because I definitely want you all to be present uh, for for most of our, our activities in this game. But there's going to be some, some sort of stuff that I want to want to get through quickly, because it's, it's going to, if I'm just doing one episode a week, it's, uh, it's going to take us a while. Oh god, we got another, another cockroach for moving that around. I think I want to scoot this over here. Yeah, if we're doing this just one day a week, uh, there's there's some stuff that I want to be able to do off camera. All right, let's place our cabin armchair. Oh, I love it. I love it. I can't wait to decorate our house some more. Can't wait to get that loan, that mortgage paid off. Oh, we can sit in it too. It's precious. Yeah, I can't wait to get that mortgage paid off so we can expand our house and decorate some more. So I will try to check back on check back in on Nook's store and see what items and tools and things he's got. Make ourselves just a little bit more money. But I won't do anything major until I am recording again, so don't you worry. Um, I will be doing these videos every Thursday, so check back next week for another another installment here in the glorious town of Iboshi. I'm having so much fun playing this. I hope you guys are enjoying watching. Thank you for your support. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for things I should do in these episodes. Uh, any, any pro tips for this game in the comments below, and I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.